Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. The slogan, press on, has solved and will always solve the problems of the human race. Calvin Coolidge. That is a long quote, but one of my favorite. My friends, if you are bound and determined to master the ability to chart the market and nothing will stop you, you will do it. And I want to tell you, you don't have to worry about how long it takes for you to get good at this because when you do get good at it, it'll make up for all the time you ever spent. And all we ask is 10 to 15 minutes each and every day. Let's jump into these charts. I want to make sure I, there we go. I had it set in a way I could not adjust it here. So what do we see going on with these charts? We see the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, and gold up a little bit for the day. Bitcoin and bonds are down. Let's jump first into the S&P 500. And again, market just continues to tick on up. Look at it. Prices above that weekly trend line. We had things, you know, continue to take off. Then we had this doji week with decent volume, but wasn't followed up again by any other down move. It was a little bit of move on the bottom both those next two weeks. And then this week, continuing to move up. These are Heiken Ashi candlesticks. We look at the volume. You know, we're two days into this, and it's okay. It's not, you know, bounding up. It could as we move throughout the course of the week. But again, the market just keeps chugging along. This prior two-day candle, you can see where it had lots of volume, and you can see where it was on that two-day candle. Primarily, it was in the morning on Friday. That was the Friday-Monday candle. And then, of course, this latest candle that we see is the Tuesday-Wednesday, and not a lot of volume there. So we'll see how much further this market is going to chug along, and heck, it can just... I mean, things can just keep going. We've seen that in the world, haven't we? Up 0.29%. Look at where we are on the NASDAQ 100, the tech stocks. And again, we're not reaching the high that was reached on that last candle. We do, however, see the candle that was on the two-day, sorry. We do, however, see on the weekly candle, I mean, a little bitty wick on top. Don't see any wick on the bottom. And again, moving right up. On the NASDAQ, we had a down week the following week after, the, well, the week beginning the year, then a doji, and then last week up, this week up, so up 0.41% for the day, well above on the half-day chart, decently above on the two-day chart. That is the weekly trend line that we track on all these charts because we trade off the weekly. That's where we do our practice trades. A uh, lot of volume last week. Not a big candle there. So again, watching, waiting, seeing how this market's going to continue to chug along if indeed it does. Bonds down a little bit. Last week, the low was $93.26. This week, $93.43. So we've not hit the low of last week yet. Candle's a little smaller so far. You can see all the volume. Uh, just about average that first week of the year. Second week of the year, a little bit above average, not much going on there, a spinning top. Last week, uh, about the same volume as the week before, more down movement. And this week, just waiting to see if things are going to continue to chug along and reach a lower low. So we'll keep our eye on things, but bonds are in a down move. Gold, we've also got a red note on there where it bounced off again that ceiling that we see by the purple line goes all the way back to the 1st of May of last year, bounded up and hit it a few times and then moved over below, not reaching the low of last week. Gold's up a little bit, 0.39% for the day, sitting just below the weekly trend line on the two day, below it on the half day. We can see where things have slid along for a few days now. So we'll keep our eye on things, see if gold's gonna continue to go down. I'd love to see it catch fire smash up and break this prior ceiling and just go to town. 
What's up with Bitcoin? Bitcoin pulling back again. We saw last week, well, we'll start off with the first week of the year where Bitcoin, I'm sorry, second week of the year, Bitcoin started the year off with um, a green candle and then hit its most recent high, uh, as we can see, actually moving all the way up to $43.94. And again, when I say Bitcoin, this is the, this is the Vanek Bitcoin Strategy ETF. When you look at any of the 24-hour a, day, uh, 24 hour a day Bitcoin charts on these exchanges, the thing that you see is this is, you know, it pretty much tracks decently Bitcoin. The reason we track it here is because it is an exchange traded fund. It is something that when you do start trading for real, you can actually purchase this on the open market. You do not have to have uh, any kind of account with a Bitcoin exchange that some of which have had some big trouble over the years, FTX being one of those. What you can look at here, well, I'm sorry, there are Bitcoin exchanges that have had troubles over the years. You can read about that uh, quite often. But what are we interested in? We're just tracking Bitcoin to see if it's trackable. Got more trackable as the year wore on. Gave us a lot of problems at the beginning, popping up, rolling back, popping up, rolling back, popping up, rolling back. Although it did inexorably move higher. We can see where it backtracked almost fully on this move where, what, about mid-year or so. But then this latest move that started in earnest in mid-October was decent. And now we see it over the last, going into the second week, pulling back quite strongly. What I'm hoping for, my friends, is a good reset. We saw a nice topper with high volume. Then things turned over with a, a bit of a spinning top. I think there's a little bit. Let me move this out. No, no, there was no up movement there. Um, we just had a red down candle uh, at, with higher than average volume and things moving over. What I'm hoping for is for Bitcoin to pull back to reset, and then to move up cleanly, which is what we want. We don't want all of it in one big bang for a week, and then to sort of slide sideways and go back down. We would like for it to start off cleaner than it did here, and then move up nicely and inexor inexorably, allowing us to follow it. That's what we're hoping for. Down for the day, 1.82%, hoping it's going to reset for us so that we can have a good practice trade this next time and have some nice, clean movements with Bitcoin like we have seen so many times with, say, the S&P 500, where we've got moves that we can chart and ride the market. That is where we are, folks. We so appreciate you being with us. Always love to hear from you. CW at ChartingWealth.com. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.